This week, former Chief Government Scientist Professor Sir David King has said that it is appropriate to be scared about the pace at which climate change is taking place. When we look at the scale of destruction and the loss of human life wreaked by Hurricane Dorian, it is indeed extremely frightening. But if Extinction Rebellion and the school strikes have shown us anything, it is that we need to get out of our armchairs and take action, rather than sitting around feeling afraid. Greta Thunberg was certainly far from her armchair when she sailed across the Atlantic to New York to attend next week's Climate Action Summit. This was a rough 15-day crossing without a comfortable bed or a proper toilet. Her generation probably have most to fear from the impacts of climate change. But what started as the lone protest of a 15-year-old schoolgirl based on her own fears for the future has turned into a global movement based on hope and action. And this Friday is likely to see the largest ever demonstration by school students across the globe protesting against lack of action on climate. And the school strikes are just a prelude to next week's UN Climate Action Summit, which aims to boost ambition and accelerate actions to implement the Paris Agreement. The theme of the summit is a race we can win, a race we must win. Some are well ahead in this race. In Finland and Sweden, where Greens are in coalition government, we see ambitious plans. Sweden has pledged to reach net zero carbon by 2045, and thereafter achieve negative emissions, where the amount of carbon absorbed by the natural world is greater than the emissions from activities in Sweden. Finland has pledged to become carbon neutral by 2035 through rapidly phasing out coal and peat, through energy tax reforms and through investment in railways and nature conservation. As Greens, we believe that we must aim for a carbon neutral world by 2030, and we believe that a Europe-wide Green New Deal can help us get there. A Green New Deal will not only rapidly decarbonise the economy, but also help to eradicate inequality through public investment and the creation of thousands of quality jobs in green sectors in all our communities. This shows that far from being a burden, tackling climate change and the climate emergency can create healthier, happier and more prosperous local communities. Courage is not the absence of fear, but the ability to act in spite of it. This famous quote, attributed to Franklin, Franklin Roosevelt, the US president who inspired and enacted the original New Deal in the US, seems more relevant than ever in the face of the climate emergency.